Okay, so there's actually one last thing we need to do before we move on to uh, setting up our splat maps and getting this terrain textured. Um, and that is to create the base uh, terrain material inside of Unity. Now, I really wanted to touch on this because it was a little confusing uh, for me at first. Um, you know, and I've been using Unity for quite a while. Uh, but it was a little confusing what was actually happening uh, with the materials inside of the new uh, terrain tools. Okay, so I want to show you guys how to get it all working. Welcome back. All right, so here we have our landscape inside of Unity here. And uh, what I wanted to do was just really quickly show you how to make your own custom material for this um, particular landscape here. It's really easy. Um, I just really wanted to touch on it so you guys uh, knew where it was. So you can add your own custom materials to this. But what I'm going to do is go over to the inspector now. Uh, we don't really need the terrain toolbox for this portion. And I'm going to go hit the little cogwheel here, the settings button. And right here, you can see this is the material that's being assigned to this. So I just wanted to cover all this because there's a few different materials that are available to us now. So if I hit the create button, you'll notice that it creates a new material down here for me. So I'm just going to call this my base uh, terrain mat. All right, so this is my material now. And you can see now it's hooked up. And the reason why this is useful is because if you leave it on the default, what will happen uh, when you start using the terrain visualization stuff or some of the splat map visualization stuff, what will happen is the terrain toolkit or toolbox will actually add what they call a terrain visualization shader to it. And sometimes that will actually mess up the terrain itself. It won't draw it as instance, right? So you get a really blocky looking uh, terrain. And so I just wanted to point that out here. It's always good to know where all this stuff is. So if we come down here um, to nature and then terrain, you can see all the supported materials. Now you can actually go and create your own materials too, but you know, it's a little bit out of the scope of this particular course. Um, I am going to make a mega landscape environment course that'll show us how to, you know, take advantage of things like distance blending and parallax occlusion mapping, all that stuff here inside of instead of unity for our terrains specifically but for now i'm going to use the terrain standard this one will work just fine for most of your terrains for your games okay so hopefully that was somewhat informative i'm just going to now go and put this into my materials folder just so i say organize all right so i'm going to close the lecture out there let's actually do a really quick review of all the topics we covered throughout this section Okay, so let's do a quick review of all the topics we covered. So we went through and we imported the Unity Terrain tool. So we saw where to get it inside of the package manager and how to import it and where all the panels are inside of Unity. And then we moved on and we exported the height map from Houdini into the EXR format so we could retain all the data. And then we converted it to RAW inside of Photoshop and we saw how we converted it by just copying a single channel and pasting it into a grayscale 16-bit image and this makes it so that way we don't get any stair stepping when we import the height map into unity all right and then finally we went and we took a look at creating the base terrain material all right so with that we are now ready to move on into the next section and start laying out all the splat maps and exporting all the layers out to splat maps so that way we can texture our trains using all the data that we created with our layers and stuff like that masking inside of houdini Okay, so let's keep moving forward. Thanks so much.